All right, guys. So, you know what I'm saying? We're back. We're back at it. We're going live. Um, the Facebook Live, once again, is still going to lag a little bit. But I also do want to go ahead and shout out my nephew's line. It's called Divinity. Um, you can get your t-shirts. They range from $20 to $25. <laughs> He's also a photographer, a videographer. He's okay. shooting local artists. And he's basically doing his thing. He's a young man making a come up on his scene. Um, so not only do we have the Vendy, we also have the Three the Hard Way gig. You feel me? Y'all see um, it. We see it. Y'all see it. We, we see, see it. it. Facebook, you about to see it. You know what I'm saying? But... We got our little divin. I got my little divinity line coming out. I mean, my nephew has his divinity line coming out. I have my three the hard way line coming out. So we're kind of sort of dropping at the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a family thing. It's a family business. Also, check out Two Fly Edits. That's also my cousin. He also does videography. He also does drone photography, and he also just does basic photography too. So you know what I'm saying? If you looking for some new faces to go ahead and look at for any photography needs, even during the quarantine, you know what I'm saying? We still doing our thing. Um, but uh, like I said, check out Two Fly Edits, check out Divinity, and most definitely lock into Three the Hard Way. I mean, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, <laughs> and we're also on IG, you know what I'm saying? So get your orders in, let me know. Uh, like, share, comment. Um, my youngest nephew came up with this way to promote the actual YouTube channel. And so his thing is, is you have to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications and also follow us on IG. The first person to do all three will most definitely get a three to hard way t-shirt sent their way. Um, but we're about to kick this thing back off. We did add in. Light skin baby. baby. She just stopped in because, you know, she just seen the podcast going and stuff. So she like, uh-uh, don't forget about me. So uh, we we definitely put her, put her, don't forget about me face ass in here. But um, we're going to kick the joints back off, man. We're basically going to pick up on, um, forget social media etiquette, just relationships in general. What is your outlook on the things that you need to or not even need, the way that you feel like you should carry yourself when you're in a relationship. Whether you make it known on social media you're in a relationship, or whether you make it known to the circle that you're within that you're in a relationship. Um, I'm going to kick it off to whoever decides that they, hey, hey, they want to speak up first. So, floor is open. <laughs> floor is closed. And I am. And I'm going to go back to picking at people. You know, the thing that nobody likes for real. Hey, yo. But I'm going to go ahead and kick it off the Bella Blanc. Y'all, me. Because yeah. today she ain't just trying to fuck. Yeah, so fast. No, she ain't trying to fuck it is. No. Um, but what do you feel like relationship-wise, like what do you consistently got to be respectful for while you're in a relationship? I mean, it depends. Like you gotta be, you just gotta respect whoever you dealing with. Like I mean, y'all might come across some disagreements on what they feel is disrespectful or what you don't. Y'all just gotta come to a common ground and keep it pushing. Common ground to keep it pushing. Yeah, that's it. What else? I mean, you tell me. I else? mean, I mean, I mean, you gotta think about it. Uh, respect is gonna be a broad, a broad topic in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you're in a relationship... I mean, but respect comes with... The only thing people feel disrespected about when they're in a relationship is somebody else trying to step on your person's toes. That's it. Period. So, that that's the only thing you feel like can be considered disrespect? Yeah, because no, ain't nobody about to see my kids. So, you can't disrespect them or I'm knocking shit off. That's it. But if you, you can't disrespect who I'm dealing with. Right. Period. It doesn't matter like who you are. At the end of the day, that's who you lay with. At the end of the night, you just can't disrespect them. But then you gotta also think about how everybody else thinks what disrespectful is. Some people might not feel like this disrespectful, and you might. Okay. But that's so, where the common ground come in. At. All right. So what do you do in a situation where you feel like you're disrespected? Like what steps do you take? Well, you approach the situation at hand, number one. Like, you gotta holler at whoever it is if you feel disrespected by it. You gotta holler at them, and then, like, you move forward from there. 
So they feel like it's not disrespected, then you can see from where they coming from. But if you still feel like like it's being disrespectful, then that's when you holler at them again, and y'all gotta come to a common ground. Like you can't just automatically feel like it's gonna go your way because it's not. Right, right, right. All right. So even when you come to a situation where you feel like you're being disrespected by your significant other, mm -hmm. um, be it family, be it friends, be it associates, um. Your basic approach is to, hey, listen, we're going to have this conversation. And this conversation is going to go like this. And I feel a certain way when it comes to this and that. Um, once you address that situation, um, some people are big on time. So some people feel like within a certain time frame, you should actually be able to change your ways. I'm a firm believer, 28 days, a person can actually change their ways or whatever habits that they have. So say you're dealing with somebody that has a habit. Days? Yes, within 28 it's like days. It's a days to break a habit. It's, it's, it's 28 days, technically, mm -hmm. to change a habit. Yeah, so it's 31. Nah. So it, it, it's a different... It's I, I, I guess it's it depends on the person. Like on the either. person. More than 28 or... 31 days I to feel break like their habit. Yeah, it's it's I feel like it's a month. I feel like it's a month. And I'm not taking it from nobody else, but it's it's change a month. don't happen mm -hmm. overnight or over 28 or 20, 31 days. Well, like you yeah, need, more, you need more than days. that to if that's but, what you used to move if that's what you used to, to do on a daily basis, I think right. you need more but, than a month mm -hmm. to change that. But moving towards your goal and what it is that you're trying to change, if you have 31 days of Changing that situation, people do what what they want to do. If you fuck with that person like how you fuck with them, then they gonna do whatever they gotta do. If you not, then they gonna carry their life on how but they carry. Of course, right? That's true that too. But I, I ain't trying. But then that just shows you where the person. It is. depends on how you all fuck with the person, and, and sometimes it be fucked up because the person that they be really fucking with, that person could be bullshit. Like that ain't the person that's supposed to be. Right. You know, but your whole then, life partner or whatever, but that's just that's just life. But that's just humans. That's how people It's right. humans, it's humans and all of that shit. But the thing is is after that thirty one days or that thirty days or that I, I I'm taking this time you, listen, after that days you will understand who that person is and what it is that you want to do. Yep. Don't get it fucked up. I was young. I was young and I was fucked up and I, I, I did all of this extra shit, but mm -mm. after that 31 days, like now, now it's me growing. It's me growing and knowing the people that I want to be with and who I want to not even be with it, because I guess like, the, the so people that I know want to know. Somebody, and you change, you slow in the process of changing your ways, your bad habits or whatever, your ways within the 28, 31 days, and you come to find out it's some bullshit. So you expect that person to fastly, you know, change their ways within that month, or slowly as time grows, when I be grown, you can't. Ain't nobody dealing with nobody day, bullshit. We, if you want to be a certain type of individual, you do your thing. If you want, don't be, drag me along with you because you want to be this individual that you are. Hey, like, but change be who takes you time. are, don't but take, don't drag me along day. with you. All right, give yeah, who the fuck the right. to sit there to interject, to interject, to interject, to interject on this whole conversation? You guys are correct. Change does take time. But if in the process of you taking your time to make your changes and your transformation, if I am not seeing no progress, why should I settle for less? But it don't happen overnight. Some people got more it patience don't, than others. It don't happen But overnight. some people have, have patience. But that's how the old, you know how the old people relationships, they've been together about 50 years. They had patience. They, 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 they had patience. patience. It's not just the, uh, just, uh, you, you're around. saying that you don't see no progress, but what if it's changing, changing, and then one day you just relapse. You just, not, you know what I'm talking about. It's just, just fucked up. Go back to your always. It's just, just fucked up. Moment. Moment. It's messed moment. up because the, moment. Yeah, the person who has the up. most patience, they get tired eventually. And they go to fuck. They move oh, the fuck up. on. And that person... <laughs> 
that was putting certain people through that shit, they realize in the end where they fucked up. They like, damn, I want to get shit back, get shit right. That's yes, just how it goes. But it's, it, I mean, to be honest with you, sometimes it's too late. Yeah, it is. Because like, I'm over at this point. Late late I don't want you to at do the end you. of the day, right. some people are moving faster than other people mm-hmm. are. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? You cannot knock a person but for you, moving you know, faster. You know who you dealing with, ex or current, how what they the moving. You know how they moving. Get yeah, as a current, you you know. So you, you know move a little bit faster than they day? are, so you supposed to speed up your fastness, or you supposed to at least slow it down a little bit so they can catch but up. No, like... you can slow it down, but it, it's, it's the communication. Okay. That's what we it's all miss. Okay, so but let's let's, let's that divert we're missing this. Is so let's 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 say love actually yeah, answer so that because I mean I everybody like, has I'm an gonna opinion. just keep it real. I don't have time for nobody to fucking change. I feel like when it comes to a relationship, a relationship is not that. You should fucking be ready. Difficult. You should yeah, be ready. Yeah, and it's not that fucking difficult. Because if you're not ready, be single. Right, and then not only that, if you fucking act like and carry yourself like your partner is always around with you, if you want to do that shit, if your partner is right there with you, then don't do that shit. Mm -hmm. Respect is easy as fuck. Right. And then if that motherfucker violates... But people are greedy. If a motherfucker is helping you along the way, if they're helping you, a person could be helping you. And they'll act like, oh shit, it's bad, 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 bad. If they're helping you along the way, they'll portray shit to be a certain type of way. The whole time they know that's not what they want, and but they that's continue the point. To do the that's the point. Shit. First shit of all, that's up. the point that we all get to in our life. It's a point because at the end of the fucking day, we all run around but and we all get it there. Though? It's, I think it's that's not our fault. It's, I feel it's like the person's fault. No, I feel like the individual. First of fault. all, if a mother, if you have respect and you carry yourself like. I honestly feel like if you carry yourself that that partner is always with you, if you want to do that, if you want to flirt with a bitch, if your girl was right there, don't fucking flirt with her. She's not there. It's pretty easy. That's perfectly fine. But like, that doesn't. No. That doesn't but take if it's red, no. Now. If it's red, if that person violate what y'all talk about in the beginning, and then that person did that, it's us. We got to take fucking responsibility. If we be like, we still choose to stick around, no, then I'm nigga, that's on you. you. Yeah. And that's some real all, ass shit. That's how is. I feel. Because now you're being dumb at that point. Exactly. First so, so therefore, you can't complain about yes. anything else that happened after. Because that person, when they show you who they are, mm. believe that mm. shit. Mm. And yes. that's just exactly. mm. That's real. just you mm. moving mm. on. Mm. That's just you moving on. Because mm. at the end of the fucking day, dog, if I can talk to you, and I can tell you, like, d- listen... This is what I want. Mm-hmm. This is how I want to be. And this, that, and the third. And if you show me anything different from that mm-hmm. shit, that's where I'm like, mm-hmm. But you, if somebody chooses to stay around after that, then what is that? You can't even blame the if next they wanna, If they want to stay around different from that whole situation. Show that girl a bitch. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Like a two, three months. No, I'm saying because at the end of the fucking day, like you didn't already show me your true colors. You see what I'm saying? So All you see true colors, colors in the beginning? No. I mean, no, red flags no, in the beginning and people ignore that shit. Thank Fuck you. that. People have red flags in the beginning and they choose to ignore it. Right, but you could, because you can move it past and it works. No, you can't. Who do you blame for that shit? The motherfucker that showed up right there? Exactly. You blame the person that went through it. So when that shit stops, you in the back. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Fuck that. Because, oh, all right. I tried to give the benefit of the doubt and shit. I tried to give the benefit of the doubt. What do you do? Oh, they not like this. They like this because and then we come up exactly. with so many reasons. Exactly. Well, let's slap you in the face. Fuck. First of all. They gotta say who all because that's right, what they All right, be. so y'all said that, but when it slap you in the fucking face, who, who do y'all blame? Myself. Myself. I would I blame, blame myself. myself. So if I choose to stay around, it's me. Yes, it's me. Because I put myself in this dumb ass shit. We're not in control of how somebody else acts. Everybody's just looking for their own fucking action. They do what the fuck they want to do. So somebody is fucking up, and I respond to that way like, okay, when I'm going to let this shit slide. Then nigga, that shit is on you. You already know what the fuck you're signing up yep, for. Yeah. And that's how I feel. Be who they okay. Are. So I'm gonna interject who who okay. because I sat here and I listened to what everybody's saying. Okay. And honestly and truthfully, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna tip my hats off to everybody <laughs> because I love and I respect everybody and everybody's entitled mm-hmm. to their own fucking opinion. But what I'm gonna do is this: is I'm gonna be the first person. First, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell Jazzy Faye to pull me a shot. Oh, do we look like alcoholics on the podcast? I don't care if I'm like an alcoholic today. <laughs> no, I'm not. Okay. Alright, that's enough. Alright, so 
So boom, I'm gonna get Jazzy Faye to pour me a shot. I'm gonna also ask Jazzy Faye Yo. not to take her shot yet. No, I was gonna say that. Because in a second, I'm gonna show up. We, 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 we're gonna change perspectives. Because that's the one thing I love to do. I am a devil's advocate and I do change perspectives. If I'm in a relationship and when I approach that relationship, if you portray yourself to be one thing when I approach you and I decide, because everybody knows, there's not a person at this fucking table that can tell me they've never given a person the benefit of a doubt. Oh, That's wait. True. Do I need to Hold on. on. First just of all, do just, I need to pull a shot? Do what you gotta do. Like, do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. I was about to say, no, I'm not I, angry. It's friends or family, regardless. No, 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 you're good. good. It's true. We all been there. We all, all been there. Exactly. Well, I just we need learned. to know if I need to pull a shot. Then nah, I said, ahead. if you need to pull a shot, pull a shot. But um, we've all been there. Friends, family, relationships. We've been there. We've given a person the benefit of doubt. Right. Amen. Now, we've all also been there where within a month's time, we've given a person a lot of chance to change. Yes. Mm -hmm. So within that month time that you set forth to this person, you give them that time to change and to reevaluate yourself and whether or not they want to be in this relationship. So do you really want to be with them? Because they can right. just be who they are. My point and exactly. they can be with somebody else, but right. that's just not your type of person right. to be with. So but what you do, just chill. What you do is, because I, I gave y'all the floor, you know what I'm saying? So what you do is you reevaluate your stance in that relationship. Mm -hmm. They reevaluate their stance in that relationship. If you come back to me again, and we both come to the fucking mutual agreement that listen, I fucked up, you fucked up, or I see where I went wrong, I see where things could have been right. You know what I'm saying? You get to that agreement, and you guys decide decide to continue to proceed forward with your relationship that person fucks up again. Mm -hmm. At this point, it is no longer you, Jasmine, because you chose to stay with me. Right. It's no longer the fact that you overlooked what I did the first time. It is the fact that I came to you as a grown ass woman and said to you, baby, we're gonna work this out and we're gonna move forward and we're gonna try to be better. Mm -hmm. It is not the simple fact that I ignored any red flag. It is not the simple fact that I ignored that you fucked up the first time. It is the simple fact that we had the same goal, the same objective, and we both wanted to reach that finish line. Mm -hmm. And at some time in that process, granted, maybe your heart changed, my heart changed, Shay Love that came along and changed my fucking heart about shit. Right. Or, or, or light skin it came should be along. communication you within that me? point, though. Like, at that I put somebody else along fucking with that you. It's communication. Then, yeah, look, 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 baby. Man, it is the responsibility. I either mess somebody or I'm going to be single. If I change is, my mind, if at though. any time in that relationship I change my mind or you change your mind, it becomes your responsibility to communicate with me. Fuck the fact that I ignored the fucking red flags. It is your responsibility to come to me as a fucking adult and as a woman and say, hey, baby, listen, I don't feel the way I once felt anymore. But the problem is with that situation and what I've realized is a lot of people have fucking pride issues. And pride and pride ego, ego have no fucking place in a relationship. Yeah. Pride and ego has no place in a fucking relationship. Especially but once you get to the it. point. Yeah, they have it. Big shit. That's what. But I sometimes relationships fail. fail because they're pride and ego. If you want to know why our grandmothers and our grandfathers can sit up here and tell us you guys are knuckleheads and yeah, because they don't do a whole never... bunch of ragged shit. But I don't know if I could be like grandma. No, nah, because, grandma because we're different. We are a different shit, breed. Like, having like, babies on each other, cheating, the bitch in the house type shit. Right. That's what grandma then went through, and it's like, hold up, do I? Have grandma, that how you face? do that? I don't have that ability. And you didn't say I don't have that ability. And so regardless of anything, this is why I feel like us as humans and us as people fail to fucking realize. Granted, the life before us wasn't a life that we fucking lived or been through. If you don't take a look back at the fucking shit your people, your ancestors, or anyone been through, I don't care, black, white, Hispanic, I don't give a fuck. European, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. 
if you don't take the time to look back at what the fuck your heritage or your past people been through in fucking life, in all fucking reality, you're never going to be able to build nothing towards the fucking future. There are a lot of fucking successful people that people don't realize that their success came from looking at the fails and the fucking errors of past fucking situations. Mm -hmm. So granted, yeah, me and yeah, you might have a falling out easy. today. As I say, me and you like might have a falling out today and we're in a relationship, but that doesn't mean me and white skin can't find a way to make the shit work after I seen your errors or I seen my errors in that past fucking relationship. Mm. So it's like, if you're not taking the opportunity to grow in every fucking situation you've been in, good, bad, ugly, up, down, left, right, if you're not taking that opportunity, stop fucking wasting good, loyal fucking people's time. Don't come at me with the bullshit of you want a you want a future, you want a life, you want to you want to build. Don't come at me with that. You feel me? Come at me with, "Hey, listen, I'm just here to have a fucking good time. If I fall in love, I fall in love. If I don't, I don't." Guess what? I respect you more because you told me that. So people just need to be honest and upfront. Yeah. Plain and simple. Nobody's honest and upfront though. But at the end of the day, nobody is. Who does nobody that fall is. back on though? I still feel like it does not fall back, on, that back on the person. Thing. I feel like it does. Listen, it's one well, thing. I'm not yeah. gonna blame somebody else because of how they act. No. And the I only to thing stay around. I'm not. No, the only thing in any fucking relationship, and I'm sorry, I'm big as shit. How many relationships you've been in? No, fuck that. I'm big as shit on fucking accountability. I'm big as shit on well, fucking accountability. Shit like shit, there is yeah. a point where it becomes that you can't be accountable for that person's fuck up. But I you can't like blame yourself. You can be accountable for no, no, how many times you keep fucking this person. No, no exactly. Yes, that's can, what I'm trying to say. Can, yes. You can be accountable. You can be accountable for that. And that's the point where you really want to work this shit out with this person. Right. Or like, how, are you really looking fucking stupid out here at right. this point? But, but see, once again, that's ego and pride that makes you feel like you're looking stupid. No, me, a nigga like me, I'm really trying to work this shit out. And then when I say I'm fed the fuck up and I walk away, don't try to make me look like a bad person at the end. Accountability is I tried to work this shit out. Accountability is another perception and ego and pride is also another yeah. fucking I'm the type perception. person that will really try to work this shit out. Yeah, you'll try to work it out but until you feel like away, your pride or your walk. ego is damaged, you gonna walk. Yeah, I will walk. Niggas will walk. Fuck a pride of ego. That's not enough. Is enough. No, That's just enough is see, enough. Enough is enough. See, what I'm, go I'm gonna shut this whole situation up with mm -hmm. is because the thing that she was sitting here saying the thing that she was sitting here saying is that our ancestors, our ancestors, our ancestors, told us, wait, our ancestors wait, built the shit. They said, we ain't, shut we the not fuck even up built up like our ancestors the whole time. Shit, right? We're not built like our That's ancestors. That's because they set pride but and ego aside. They did. They, 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 exactly. They, so they shut our the fuck up. Our ancestors got walked all over. They do that, right? Everything they went right. through, they but got walked all over. But when you don't, they did, though. Not all of them did. They did. But when they did, they got walked over. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. See, we didn't take it to a whole nother motherfucker. Yeah, we can take it to that level. Yeah, we can take it to a whole nother level because at the end of the day, they told us to shut the fuck up and deal with the and whole And look, situation. niggas got sprayed with big minute. ass fire hydrants and water hoses and shit. Yeah, the niggas that was did. talking, and and, they got and sprayed, they, they got beat the shit out of. And they were still silent. Just like the nigga they like Emmett Till. Y'all know who Emmett Till is? Exactly, and they still shut the fuck up and didn't say anything. And they still got the shit beat out of them and got chastised. Where we at today in life, everybody has a voice and of opinion, all that fuck. shit, so everybody can speak their voices and all that, okay. and that's how niggas is able to get away with certain shit these days. No, back when we spoke our peace and tried to be humble to get and all away that. with it. Actually, to be very fucking, fucking frank and honest with you, these kids today, now in this history, they're sick. They're tired of sitting there being quiet. That's what no, happens. Our children these days is. I mean, I they're tired of being quiet. Our to children be is different, though. I okay. feel like we needed all kids back when where we're at today. We but needed, them, but they yes, not really about the life, them. and they try to we voice needed though, them. But they're we not. Needed them. We're so I just want them. everybody to understand, realize like how our topics can go. They can go board. everywhere. Like, like they will go any and everywhere. They can go. So what we gonna try everywhere. to do is we gonna structure that joints away from that topic because. I definitely want to talk race. on that, <laughs> yeah. But I want to talk on it on on, mm -hmm. on another level. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody's mm -hmm. like at their level headed self. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Really and truthfully, <laughs> I mean, like I said, with relationships, I mean, you remove pride and ego, a lot of shit will change or a lot of shit will get accomplished or not get accomplished. I feel like as long as you have honesty, truthfulness, love, respect, respect communication for good. that for that next person that you're with. Shit like that don't exist these days, though. I mean, it does. It does. Right. It does. Because you gotta think about what your relationship. Nah, I mean, I mean, okay. Nobody wants to take responsibility. Everybody wants to. It's not that nobody wants to take responsibility. I'm not gonna play the victim. Every relationship I've been in, I played a fucking part. I decided to put up with the bullshit. I decided to stick around. I played a motherfucking part. Did you have bullshit with you too, though? Did Did I have bullshit with me? I'm pretty sure I did. I wasn't perfect. But therefore, if I choose to stick around... And that's where it comes around, to working it. I, no, but what, is but what I'm saying is, when what is I choose to stick perfect. around, I cannot what is put the blame on somebody else, though. But right. for you saying, to right. sit there mm-hmm. and be like, I cannot put the blame on me. Ain't nobody me. fucking perfect. That I'm not going to Everybody got to look at their own individual exactly. shit. Exactly. Everybody got to look at their everybody own individual shit. Everybody wants to be the fucking victim. But like I said, that's where you take the stance of accountability. Accountability. You cannot expect for a person, oh, I want them to do this, right. but oh, on the other side, I'm doing this. I'm doing the same thing that I don't want them to do, but I expect for the relationship to work out. You can't That's do that. It, right. You, you can't do so, that. But at the end of the day, I'm when treat you, you are... I'm going to be treated. No, but person. at the end of the day, when you're holding accountability for your relationship, your choices, your decisions, your mistakes, your flaws, your anything, when you're holding accountability... And you address that accountability that you have with the person that you choose to be in that fucking relationship with, right? At what fucking point can you say you didn't hold yourself accountable? Everybody can hold themselves accountable. Right, but at what point can't you say you did not hold Who? yourself accountable? I don't know. If you move in the way you need to move, you treat this person with respect. You're showing as long as everything you're, that you're doing within yourself, and if your partners, but you gotta go outside of yourself to be accountable. Yeah, you do, but you can't do to nobody that you don't want done to yourself. Right. So if you doing anything to anybody that you don't want to yourself, don't want to do to yourself, you're being selfish at that point. Like you're being selfish. You're being fucking selfish. Yeah, oh, I mean, I can do this, but you but can't. you can't. That's selfish and shit. Yeah. You can't say that. It definitely you can't is. Like and, and so and that's, home. I guess, I mean, if we got to wrap this up, this is the way we're going to wrap it up. At the end of the fucking day, don't do nothing to somebody that you don't want done to you. Exactly. I'm a firm believer in karma. Because niggas is petty. I will do it to you just because you did it to me just to show you how Take, to fucking t- feel. I, you get, get me, I get, get you. All right, right. my dear. <laughs> <laughs> you know and saying? that's sad that you don't never want to do it like that. But that's sometimes, when you that's what I say. Time. When you the way you make me feel, I'm going to no, make your ass feel the same way to make sure that all, you can I, understand I, the way I feel. I'm going to leave it off at this. When you become a certain age in your fucking life, yeah, over thirty, ten, it's time to get the shit together. We need to have. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know, know what the age is, but when you become a certain age in life, temper time ain't shit. It's bullshit. It's, it's not child shit. It's it's that's what. That's what I said. Say, I'm gonna make you feel the way me. you make me feel. No, when you feel like shit, bitch, I'm gonna make your ass feel like shit. Exactly, but bitch. That is another topic. Listen, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna leave that off as another topic because and technically, gonna, technically, in all reality, I'm gonna keep it real. Topic. That's definitely another fucking topic. Only because the because simple fact no, that I'm not doing hey, this. hey, be- I'm only old. because for the simple fact that a lot I'm of people have old. a different fucking mentality for that tip of test shit. So we're gonna leave that as another fucking topic. I'm what not trying to cut nobody is. off. I'm not trying to make nobody feel no type of way. But um, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this thing up. And we only wrapping it up tonight because, like I said, at the end of the day, we can go for hours. We essential workers. essential workers. And we can still go for hours. Yeah, we just friends. Essential. Everybody this, this here, we can sit here this and have this conversation all and day. And we're going to chop it up whether we mm. on the camera or off the camera. So, you know what I'm saying? We're just going to go ahead and wrap this up for the night. 
so we can allow everybody to you know make the moves that they need to make but um i just want you guys to understand stay tuned stay locked in you know what i'm saying i'm gonna keep it the same way that i keep it every time i'm gonna keep it funky fresh we're gonna keep it clean we're gonna keep it straight matter of fact we might not even keep it fucking clean when it comes to certain topics we never but at the clean. end of the day what we're gonna do we definitely gonna keep that conversation <laughs> fucking going so tune in stay locked in Hey yo, and just get oh, with it. And make sure y'all go get the merch. All 2020, we dropping Divinity. We dropping Three the Hard Way. If you feel like you got a brand or something that you would like to promote, let me know. Hit me in the inbox. Send me a DM. Don't be coming at me sideways. But hit me in the DM. And we definitely can do something. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big person on you support me, I support you. Love is love, you know what I'm saying? We gotta find a way to make that shit work for everybody. Dang so dang. nobody is fucking excluded from this whole situation, you know what I'm saying? If you build it, we build it together. We gotta we got, we got stop thinking about each other's family, you know what I'm saying? So let's get this shit going.